Hello and welcome to It's Never Too Far Away. In this video, I'm connecting twice through Los Angeles International. Right now, I have arrived on KLM from Amsterdam, coming in at the Tom Bradley terminal and departing Delta Airlines in their Terminal 3 to Honolulu. In two days, I will be arriving on United in their terminal and I will be departing Virgin Atlantic again in the Tom Bradley terminal. Even if Los Angeles is an amazing place for plane enthusiasts and travel enthusiasts, which it truly is, it also has lots of inconveniences of course, as it is dated in many ways. A lot of terminals of the airlines are dated and going from one terminal to another is a nightmare. Sometimes I manage to catch one of these buses and sometimes it depends on where I am. I can't even find a sign that guides me there and when I'm thinking I'm at the right place I'm waiting and there's no bus. So I started the recent visits that I had here just to walk. I did the same today and it was just a short way so it was convenient. In a positive note though it has to be said that lots of money is being invested to en enhance this airport. Currently there is a monorail being built that is similar to the one that we know from JFK airport that connects the various terminals in a loop. Once that is completed here it will be much more convenient to transfer from one terminal to another. Also Tom Bradley of course has been added relatively recently. I just arrived actually in the new pier of that terminal. And I understand that Delta Airlines also invested into their Terminal 3, which I'm going to check out right now. On this plan on the top, you have Tom Bradley's two long piers, of which the upper one is the newly opened midfield pier. At the bottom of Tom Bradley is the central immigration and check-in hall. Below is Delta Airlines nearby Terminal 3 with the two piers. At the bottom I will go first and then I will depart from the one closer to Tom Bradley. Alright, so from the start. Arrival is at the outer pier. You can see one end of the main pier across the apron at quite a distance. To there you will see I have to get for passport control. The new pier called West Gates was actually only opened in May 2021. The walk really is pretty endless. The only alternative is a service provided by some kind of golf carts that you can hop onto. I also let you now listen to the sound that you have to endure while you are walking. It's a bit weird, don't you agree? It took another half hour to get through immigration and then I was walking toward the exit. By the way, also the main part of the new Tom Bradley terminal opened as recently as 2013. The walk to Delta Airlines neighboring Terminal 3 is not far at all. In the near future, the currently constructed connection between the two terminals will be opened. With regards to Terminal 3, I had quite high expectations, as also this one has seen major upgrades. 
In fact, it had been completely torn down and the all new construction was reopened only in 2022, just months prior to this visit now. Here I am already inside through security check. To be honest, I could not see any indication of a really cool new terminal. Certainly it is not old and too narrow everywhere with low ceilings, but it does not feature anything particularly cool. The Delta Sky Club lounge, however, is now the largest they offer at any airport and my visit inside there was indeed absolutely nice. I am here entering one of the two rather short piers. This is now entering the other pier, which is completely different from the first one. I know this can happen everywhere and it's not a problem, but for a couple of minutes the real sound inside here was actually like this. Throughout the terminal very good apron views are possible and parts of two of the four active runways, active for takeoffs and for landings, are visible. In my case it was especially cool to see a Virgin Atlantic Airbus A350 parked at Tom Bradley, so close to my departure gate, as I was to fly out on a Virgin A350 just two days later from now. I really did enjoy this visit to Los Angeles International. But you can imagine that also now I did not mind at all when it was time to board a Delta Airlines Airbus A330neo bound for Honolulu. Hey there, just arrived back to LA in the United Concourse at gate 83. I think this is the very far end opposite from the Tom Bradley terminal along the airfield. And as I never find that bus that connects the terminals and I decided to walk, I will also do that now, heading for the exit and taking a walk down some of the terminals at this airport. I had arrived at the pier on the far right of this map and my next departure was on the far left of this map at Tom Bradley. This was still inside Terminal 8. We all have to use them, 
the rest rooms in this terminal were fine enough for what we would expect. I was just about to head down the escalator to the exit and then to walk to Tom Bradley. When this sign hinted that it seemed to be possible to reach their air site. This terminal map suggests that T8, 7 and 6 are connected along their entrance areas, while T6, 5 and 4 are connected from inside their piers, which means the walkways are crossing the aprons. Therefore, I remained inside and headed towards the pier of United's larger Terminal 7. Here I was entering Terminal 7 of United Airlines. All in all, I would say United Airlines Terminals 7 and 8 are not really state-of-the-art, but on the other side, they are not that bad either. The ceilings are rather high here, apron view is possible, there are shops and food, and I'm looking forward to spending around 3 hours here in January 23. Having left the pier again, I'm coming to this, what's appearing to be coming more and more common in American airports, a pet toilet. Now heading from Terminal 7 to Terminal 6. Now entering Terminal 6. It is used by Air Canada for departures and by Alaska and Horizon except for international arrivals. Since 2021 Terminal 6 has seen renovation work. From here my walk continued underneath the apron. This escalator down was not easy to find. In case you like endlessly long and narrow corridors, this will be your place. This point is access to Terminal 5. I continue into the next corridor. At the end of the tunnel I end up in American Airlines Terminal 4. The next and final corridor was again above the surface and offered very nice views to the apron between American and Tom Bradley terminals. Then finally, after probably one of the nicest walks I personally ever took, 
I came into Tom Bradley terminal. This view demonstrates the height of Tom Bradley's check-in hall. The next and final door allowed me access into Tom Bradley's International Departures Lounge. All the way to get here, since I stepped out of my United flight, I did not go through any security check. And now welcome to Tom Bradley. This billboard in front of me changes its colors. If you ask me, this pier is outright impressive, but it is also quite extravagant. Even though I arrived on one ticket and I left on another, I could have simply departed now. But as I was having ticketing issues, I needed to go and see check-in. As impressive as the check-in hall certainly is, I realized it was actually too dark inside. They could put more light. The issue got solved and here I was back inside. I now realized that also inside the departure lounge it was actually relatively dark. Food court Shopping, shopping. Also there's this interesting outdoor terrace. It was obvious that I also wanted to see the West Gates, the new pier that was very recently opened. Of course this meant taking these long, long, long corridors again up and down, but I will save you from that. Inside the West Gates I was a bit surprised. I had expected a similar experience to the main pier, but here there were only a couple of restaurants and regular airport shops, but otherwise there was nothing spectacular at all. Having completed the long walk back, I decided to use the stairs. In the end I was facing a flight of more than 9 hours to London and then another flight of more than 10 hours to Mauritius. As we all have to use them, the restrooms were obviously not included in the plans to create a masterpiece style terminal. Time to head to the departure gate. This was my fourth departure here and I have loved it again as I did before.